My search for kindness has brought me here to Clarkston, Georgia for a dinner that when I heard about it, I knew I had to be here. Refugees making dinner for those who have been affected by the federal government shutdown. Let's go check out a dinner I think you're never going to forget. Can a single kiss say it? Say, I understand. Well, that is lots and lots of food candy. Malik and his mother are Syrian refugees, still relatively new to America. I got forced to leave the country. Leaving Syria, I left my home, my dreams, everything, my education. Uh, I came to United States in 2016. Before that, uh, I, I stayed in Jordan for three and a half years with my family, and we came to United States with, with my family. The family landed in Clarkston, Georgia. That's where Kitty Murray hired Malik to work at the Refuge Coffee Company. The perfect job for a guy who comes from a family. You can have a sweet for tonight. They like to feed you a lot. That out of this world pistachio baklava is just one of the dishes they make through their Syrian catering company. It's called Syriana. It grew out of his job at Refuge Coffee. And now Malik and his mother are small business owners. This is my mom, Majida. <laughs> she is the head chef of Syrian cuisine. She's amazing. She always wants uh, to uh, fire me. <laughs> she's learning. She goes to school every single day. Um, but she's not able to speak the language. So she speaks the food language. Uh, where, where she gives food away and tells people how, how, how the love trying to explain for people how, how the food tastes. What is this? Uh, mm -hmm. Great, great. Yes. This? You see where this is going. This refugee family, so appreciative to America, to their new country, started hearing about the federal workers affected by the government shutdown. That's when Malik got an idea and reached out to his old boss, Kitty Murray. And he said, I, I kind of know what it's like to have a lot of uncertainty and to not know what's happening and to feel like you don't know where your paycheck is going to come from. He said, so I want to do something for the people here in this country who are going through that. And that's how the Refuge Coffee Company became the site of this catered Syrian dinner on Monday night. So even though the um, shutdown officially ended on Friday... Well, it's because of him. Oh, that's why. you thought you guys were the lucky yeah. charm. Yeah. It's yeah. totally because of him. Yeah. Very clear Dan Reddit is a food specialist for the FDA and he'd been furloughed for the last five weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to thank Malik and his mom for making this delicious dinner. It's so nice to have people that actually uh, care think, and think about those kinds of things. One meal on one night in America. Nice way to wrap up a hard five weeks. Definitely. Yeah. And a wonderful end to my first day back at work. Uh, to have a delicious meal and get to meet people I've never met before and interact in this way. So much more than lamb and vegetables and salad and baklava. Like do a lot. But at the same time, we feel like this tiny thing might change something. Uh, it might change something in our future, their future, and in, in the refugees' future. One common ingredient, kindness.